Hello, and welcome to this video which is showing the improvements in pitch bend and MIDI continuous controller editing in Cubase 11. Since the early Atari days in the 90s, the system's been pretty much the same. You can create individual points in the controller lane, and afterwards, you've got tools which allow you to manipulate them, creating straight lines, curves, and waveforms, etc. This can be pretty long-winded and it's easy to make mistakes. Cubase 11 introduces a system which possibly will change all that. Let's have a look. So let's take a look at those in action. So firstly, we're going to look at pitch bend and here's just a simple riff on a Halion Sonic SE synth sound. So nothing particularly interesting, but that's what you've come to expect from me. Here we have the editor, so I'm actually going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see that clearer and the change happens here. So firstly, down in pitch bend, we've got a couple of things that we can use. So if we snap pitch bend events, now we actually get the option to display a grid if we want and to show the range. So you would alter that if your pitch bend range of your synth was different, but in this case it is too. So I'm just going to turn that on. And that actually makes entering pitch bend much easier because it used to be a bit faffy, particularly around the center, because sometimes you just miss it by a little bit and you'd end up with something that was a little out of tune. Whereas now you can get it absolutely bang on. So there, that's going to be there. And in fact, in this case, I want this to go up just by a semitone. So that's already made my life easier than it was before, purely because I can enter that. Now I'm actually going to zoom in on that point and then take advantage of the fact that now by grabbing this little circle, we can take this. So this follows the original idea that it would just jump up because that's how pitch bend events and indeed controller events have worked for a long time. We can now grab that circle and now create a curve. So we can make this dynamically change. Now, previously to do that kind of thing, you would have had to draw in all of these points and redefining them was a pain in the neck. That we're going to then pop this back down and again just pick that so we've got some kind of reasonably even curve and now playing that and we can do a similar kind of thing and because snap is turned on it's going to be nice and easy to do a similar thing here so I'm just going to create those points and this time we're going to go all the way up to two semitones in this case and then have a bit of a curve and we're not going to hear maybe that coming all the way down depends on the release of that sound but that would have taken much longer to draw in because you'd had to draw all those points in and then curve them and while you could do it with the line tool set appropriately etc it can be a pain this is much easier so And now if you want to move these, you've got fewer points to move as well. So if we decided we wanted that earlier, we've only got three points we need to move and then we can move them like that. Whereas previously marking around all of them was much more difficult. So those changes make life much easier to deal with. Much easier, much simpler. Now, the same really is true for MIDI controllers. I've got this patch set up already. So it's got a MIDI controller altering the cutoff frequency. So in fact, if I play that, you can hear that I'm altering that using the... I'm altering that using a controller wheel here. And if I record just a bit of that, we'll see that what would normally happen... So I'm going to record that onto a separate track. And those have been recorded and that's what you'd normally deal with. So as we can see, it's in this case, slightly incorrectly labeled as portamento. So if you were creating that with this, this is what you would normally end up with. So with the pitch bend, with the old system, you would do that kind of thing. Here, we don't need to do that. We can just draw in a few points. So in fact, we can just get rid of all that and we can just draw in a couple of points. I'm gonna turn snap off so I can just put them wherever I want and maybe put the other one something like that and then use again the circles to give us the curves that i think i want maybe we'll have that curving down to there and then this can curve up 
and so on. Something like that. That will do. But just for drawing things in, it's so much easier because, again, if we want to modify this, I've got one point I need to move. The curve is retained. So, again, maybe I'll move that a little earlier. So it's been... And we're done. Much easier, much quicker, a way better system. We've moved into the uh, we've moved into the 2000s. So there you have it. The new pitch bend and MIDI CC editing system combines the best of both worlds. You can still create individual points and use them as before, or you can use the new system to interpolate between them with straight lines and curves. It's really easy to edit and much simpler than the old system. In addition, pitch bend has now got snap which means you don't have to mentally translate between a 14-bit data number and a pitch bend range, which is in semitones. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have, please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.